and peace and honor and hey. prosperity. Um. Okay, so now we're on chapter 14. How to use the magic formula, RCC, to give immediate relief from all aches, pains, nervousness, and tension. There are four and one half million involved people involved in healthcare throughout the United States. They work in over 600 job titles, and apparently it takes more doctors and nurses to keep up from and keep us from dying. There are even 3,700 cytotechnologists who specialize in examining tissue slides for warning signs of cancer. These professionals have had from two to 12 or more years of training for their work. With all of this, we could build bigger and better equipment, medical research centers. They keep telling us that there are still a shortage of doctors. Then there are thousands of quarks who tell us that they can cure everything from ingrown toenails to cancer. The pills and bottle cures and metal and plastic contraptions are endless. However, let me tell you about this just one. For the rapid invigoration of human beings, when sick or fatigued or de debilitated from any cause, it costs $20.50. And it consists of metal contraptions called oxydonor which is connected by a long tube to a bottle of tonic. The user straps the oxydonor around his ankle and lets the tonic flow through the tube against his leg. The magic tonic was found to be 90% water. Your first health mental action image. During meditation, the first medical action images that you must form and dwell on is to picture yourself going through each day, each week, and each year without using any drugs. Drugs kill thousands of people every year. Make sure that you do not use one of them. Now that's deep because some people don't have the ability to eat so that they won't need medication. They'll continue to eat so that they'll and then they'll have medication in order to regulate what they eat instead of eating properly. As with high blood pressure and diabetes. Um, so instead of just eating green leafy vegetables, mostly. A little um, bit louder. And just like eating green leafy vegetables, mostly, um, you know, taking um, vitamin D, um, omega-3, omega-6, you know, um, these necessary fatty acids, as well as also enzymes, as well as also um, prebiotics and probiotics. Um, these are the things that you have to start definitely doing. Um, DHEA, as well as also... Um, L-glutamine. L, right. L, um, well, they call it L... Um, Goffin, um, um, Goffin one, Goffin one. Hold on, let me get that joint right quick. It was definitely necessary. Okay, now real quick, remember I told you we were gonna go play the numbers. Well, what was deep was when we went outside, I saw a deer in the driveway, and then I was like walking towards it, like, how should I talk? How do you call a deer? You know what I mean? And then, um. And then I was like, you just be quiet. And then Eileen was like, I don't see it. Then when he said that, the second one came. So we went to go look at the Dear Wisdom, which we have on our website. And it means gentleness and word, thoughts and touch. Okay, let me let Eileen finish his thought. Mm, but he just showed you what it is. Um, and that's, that's vegan. And it also gives your body what it needs because a lot of times we're not eating the food that's properly. And because we in the South, we Glutin. see all the chemicals Glutin. that they put on. It's glutenin. Um, L-glutenin. All right. So definitely need this. So we see all the chemicals that they have in the field. They like signs all over the field that say, do not enter poison. Da, da, da. You know, da, 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 they got to give you notice of whatever chemical they're using. But then I noticed that when we get the corn from the grocery store, it doesn't have that it was treated with these pesticides. <coughs> okay, but real quick, 
The wisdom of a deer is gentleness in word, thought and touch, ability to learn, grace and appreciation for the beauty of balance, understanding of what's necessary for survival, by power of gratitude and giving, the ability to sacrifice for the higher good. Ain't that the truth? Now, I know we do that. Every dime goes towards building. Um, and then when people stay with us, it seems like it makes them, um, I don't know. It seems like, I don't know. I'm going to have to philosophize that. Um, and then connection to the woodland goddess. And then the alternative paths to a goal. So that's deep. Okay. I can truly see that. All right. Um, but to stay focused and to get back on track. Um, so your first health mental action image. During meditation, the first mental action image that you must form and dwell on is to picture yourself through each day, each week, each month and year without using any drugs. Because drugs kill thousands of people every year. Make sure that you're not one of these people that it kills. And that's deep because a lot of times when you see um, people side effects and stuff to drugs, it actually have the issue that you're trying to fix. In the small print and in the fast talk. So, it just deals with a little bit of discipline. And then also too, what I noticed too, people are talking about eating right for your blood type. You know, and I think that that's very important too. Are you eating like you're supposed to be eating or are you eating like somebody else? It is understandable why, why many insurance companies will not longer insure doctors against malpractice suits. The damage that some physicians and surgeons cause are tremendous. Yet they keep coming up with even more dangerous methods of treating our health problems. Aginines gets a new grip on life. Aginines becomes a very, became a very beautiful girl at 18 when my formula gave her a new grip on life. She was 16 when she ran away from home and headed west. She joined up with a young man who had also left home. They lived together as they continued to make their way west. He picked up odd jobs and she was a waitress. When they reached Los Angeles, she was pregnant and ready to deliver. At this point, her boyfriend disappeared. I'm going to break that chain, too. So, I could see why sisters sometimes don't be telling people. Because it's like, bounce mode. Well, we got to break that chain. Brothers, you need to be excited and celebrating that you're going to have a mini-me, you know? But anyways, a social agency found a home for her. She put the baby up for adoption. Naturally, her social worker tried to get her to go back home. This she would not do, but she did consent to let them contact her uncle in Ohio. After all, he was a medical doctor. Her uncle agreed to provide a home for her, so she headed back east. When she returned to Ohio at 18, she was still nervous and tense and had a feeling of guilt and uselessness. She also had many fears. The only help that her doctor, uncle, gave her was to provide her with sleeping pills. Over the weeks, she accumulated a stock of sleeping pills and then one night swallowed all of them. Two doctors worked on her for 24 hours to save her life. It was after she had recovered from her suicide attempt that her uncle sent her to the author of this book for help. The first time I saw her, she was more determined than ever to end her life on the earthly plane. Perhaps you are wondering where to start in a case like this. This is never a problem with my system. As with all cases, I started by teaching Agnes how to meditate. With her tongue in cheek, I told her that since she was determined to die, she should learn to meditate, raise her vibrations, and through astral projection, take a little trip over the other side to inform them that she would be there soon. I told her that she would ran from home and that she did not turn out so well. So now that she wanted to run away from life, I know that she did not believe me, but she did agree to learn to meditate. I know that meditation could clear her body and mind of tense nervousness, pounding heart, dizzy spells, frequent headaches, and feelings of uselessness. Of course, you could guess that when I first saw her, 
she was not beautiful. Adding an overweight problem to all her other psychological and physical conditions could not spell beauty. One of the most satisfying results of my work with people has been to see the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual change that comes over them as the days go by. Of course, all of this comes about through the full release of your inner self and all of the astral powers that goes with such release. If you have a group of astral helpers, that's all the better. My magic formula gave Agnes a new grip on life. She is now a more beautiful girl than she has ever been. She has decided to take a rain check on killing herself and heading on over to the spiritual life. She radiates all the positive qualities that comes to you when you enlarge your world and get out of those dark corners of fear and uselessness. Do you have any idea how many people shorten their brief stay on earth because dangerous drugs are so available to them? Do you realize that thousands of people are today hooked on drugs? The first such drugs may have come to them through a prescription from their own personal physician. Do you know how many weeks or months it takes to get rid of drugs in your systems after you stop using them? There are places in the U.S. where you can go to have your body detoxify. It takes weeks of special treatment to produce a physical healthy condition in your organs again. Death caused by the accumulation of drugs is just way too common. Mr. E goes back to Washington, D.C., a changed man. Mr. E came to me from Washington, D.C., tight with tension. Physically, all that he needed was dental work. But he complained of headaches, dizzy spells, pain in his chest, burning, urination, tiredness, insomnia, and a long list of aches and pains. Occupationally, he was a microfilm supervisor. Apparently, he had been nervous all of his life. He told me that at 21, he was hospitalized for a nervous breakdown. He had another nervous breakdown at the age of 26, and he had attempted suicide two times. Month after month, he went from one doctor to another. Fortunately, he had sense enough to refuse shock treatments and a lobotomy. Wow, that's right. They used to do that back then. Um, After arriving in town, but before he came to my office, he had another complete physical examination at another doctor's office. He still believed that he had heart trouble, cancer, and several other conditions. My first job was to keep him from spending more money with medical doctors. Now that's deep too because a lot of people don't want to go to dentists and they'll suffer through the pain. Um, however, swallowing that toxic, um, toxicity from their tooth... Um, will deteriorate the body it will kill you so um get the i would say get the tooth pulled or um clean it out get it filled with porcelain. or get it filled yep non-toxic um non-toxic you know mercury fillings yeah you know you don't want no mercury fillings matter of fact if you have any probably the best thing is to get them pulled out too okay that's wisdom. Because mercury is highly poisonous. Yeah. I don't even know why they're putting that in people's mouths. But they don't, you know, it's de we're not dealing with people who really um, care. Um, at this point, it must be clear, made clear that symptoms, aches, and pains are not necessarily caused by germs, a virus, or other disease conditions. The sensory endings reporting this negative condition are touched off by emotionally toned, very negative mental thoughts, images, and Mr. E was forming mental action images galore, constantly having negative thoughts, but they were the wrong kind. Mental action images can kill as well as cure you. That's good. They can make you a poor man or a rich man. They can make you a poor woman or a rich woman. Make you happy or make you measurable. Put you on the highest astral level or keep you knocked in a small dark corner of the physical world. Don't blame anyone else. You set the stage for all your life activities and don't you ever forget it. My job was to get Mr. E to realize that his mental action images were all wrong. He himself bought on all his symptoms that were, pros 
that are producing aches and pains and dizziness and insomnia and heart pains and headaches and um, what's it called? Erectile dysfunction and all sorts of issues. Stomach aches. My magic formula solved his problem in less than a week. His sister called me from Washington, D.C. after he returned to tell me of his great change in her brother. Mr. F. dumps her basket full of emotional problems. Mrs. F.'s family physician thought that she was suffering from a coronary insufficiency. She was surely tight with tension and had many fears and feelings of insecurity. Now that's deep because it's a lot of tension going on and it is purposely being done and if you're out there protesting that's because you're not doing enough on a different level it's health food stores that need to be open it's tai chi and qigong um, um, clinics that need to be open it's herbs that need to be um, distributed and manufactured and um harvested is vegetables and fruits that need to be grown um but we out here trying to stop people from who are aggressive and devilish from being aggressive and being devilish and from being possessed if you are out there then i mean i've been i haven't been saying anything about that lately i just i've been just been like oh that's your life mission that's what you're supposed to be doing but now cypher you shouldn't even be out there. Period. Let that stuff happen while you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. But the reason why you're out there is because you're not feeling like you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. You supposed you could be writing books. What was you about to say, Ali? Mm, that's perfect. It's just so many other things that you could be doing. But you're out there because you're feeling like you need to do something. And that's just not what that's not what we supposed to be doing as people who are on the elite. Or elevated, striving for elevation, meditating. That's what you need to be doing. That's what you need to be doing. If you want to be out there, then you need to be out there on the astral plane, um, keeping that bat from hitting people in the head and them two by fours from swapping people in the head and what else? And and the tiki um, lights being stabbed in people. You need to be out there on the astral plane. If you out there in your physical, you dead wrong. Period. So cut it out. Miss F dumps her basketball of emotional problems. Miss F's family physician thought she was suffering from a coronary insufficiency. She was surely tight with tension. That's why all of this stuff is on TV, constantly watching this stuff so you can be tense. Right. Hence the term hyper tension. Tension. You get it? The reason why it's hyper is because you are tense, stressed. And so everything's put on TV to make you tense, to make you stress. So hence the reason why so-called black folks has the highest hypertension. All right. And I'm glad that the world is finally recognizing that we ain't been just playing a race card. The world is seeing it. And now all you got to do is sit back and build and do what you say you're going to do. Keep your word and elevate yourself to your higher self. You are multidimensional. Get there. How do you get there? Meditation, positive thoughts, doing what you're going to say you're going to do, drinking water. It's just so many different things that you could be doing. But to stay in focus um, and relax. So the tension had, um, she had tension and many fears and feeling of insecurity. Before Miss F married her mother, she filed suit for divorce from her father 14 times. The court finally ordered her to stay away from the county courthouse. Mrs. F was in constant state of anxiety for as long as she could, could remember. Her parents had arguments that were so violent that she and the little girl often hid under her bed for hours. Mrs. F had a couple of nervous breakdowns a short time after her marriage. She was literally tense from head to toe. Her mind was filled with fears and anxiety. The smallest disturbing situations would touch her off for hours. Wow. Or even days. That was a miserable life. She was very poorly adjusted to her husband sexually. 
She had no friends or social life. Now here again, we have an illustration of the need to kick the doctor and drug habit. Her medical bills not only kept her husband broke, but heavily in debt. Many doctors will finally tell such patients that there is nothing medical science can do for them. However, there are doctors who will find something wrong and keep the patient coming back for years. I did not work with Mrs. G, but her husband told me that his wife spent over $40,000 with one doctor. While visiting her doctor in another state, Mrs. G, at the urging of her daughter, had a complete physical examination. The, doctors, the daughter's doctors found nothing wrong with her mother. She was told that she had not needed any of the treatments that had been given to her for the past 20 years. Dr. A finally sees the light. This physician knew that he was tight with tension. Several years before his complete nerves and physical breakdown, he called me one day and said that he was going to put himself in my hands. He failed to do this until the breakdown came. At that time, his blood pressure was 220 and he was losing his sense of reality. It would have been easy if he had learned my system earlier. However, conditions are not nearly hopeless as far as the astral helpers are concerned. The doctor still hates to admit that modern science has no answers for them. Eliminating aches and pains and nervousness. A breeze with our magic formula. Just spending a few minutes each day meditating according to my formula will by itself make you a different person. There's no reason in the world for anyone to suffer from tension or pain of any kind. There is no reason why anyone should spend vast sums of money buying painkillers, sleeping pills, or chemical relaxers. And you know who he's talking to. This is true whether or not the cause of the symptoms are emotional, mental, or physical. Y'all know that's true. That whole little thing was true. The true self-knowledge and understanding is absolutely necessary for health, wealth, and happiness. You get this through meditation, according to my formula. You must find the truth about yourself and must become fully aware of what you think about yourself. If you have a positive image of your potential, build on it. If you do not like the image that you have of yourself, then become fully conscious of this fact and change it. I already called your attention to the fact that most and all ill symptoms are the results of negative images. Make up your mind and keep telling yourself that you will respond only to positive constructive thought. Negative thoughts must be erased or they will produce negative conditions such as headaches, dependency, lack of confidence, fear, and pain. If you have pain or aches, form an image of this condition being in the past and of yourself already beginning to feel a whole lot better. In this way, you are not telling your body to keep producing the ache or the pain or the tension or the negative emotional condition. How many times have you heard people keep saying, I have a headache. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, the pain in my leg is terrible. It will not let up. I know people who seem to delight in having a dozen or more physical conditions. We actually knew a brother who could walk. But he was in a wheelchair for over 30 years. My pleasure is worse today. I have skin cancer, arthritis, and indigestion. My headaches all the time. These people keep all these complaints in good working order by negatively confirming them every time they talk to anyone and many times to themselves. When you erase negative thoughts, do you repress them? They will go underground and keep on causing physical symptoms. Force those negative thoughts out and replace them with a positive image. Please remember that if you direct a negative thought towards another person, you will hurt them. If you bury that thought, you hurt yourself. And it will appear as a symptom of some kind. Always remember, your body will be healthy automatically and continuously if you do not build negative mental action images and project them onto your body. So cut it out. 
Ill, and it's easy, it's easy to fix. So you'll say, wow, my nose is big. Look at this nigger nose. But then you say, you know what? My nose is cute, for real, for real. And it's better to breathe with. As a matter of fact, as Moors and Africans, we have the science of the breath. Mm. That's how you do it. Illness is not always bad. Any individual who is determined to change himself for the better may become ill in the process. Changing attitudes, habits, or your philosophy of living requires many changes in your personality. All of this requires energy. As you expend more and more energy to carry out the changes in your personality, your resistance to all the negative forces around you is lowered. So you develop symptoms and actually become sick. That's deep. Because one Dr. Arlene teaches that one minute of anger causes your immune system to shut down for six hours. And you need your immune system to be fully functional because of chemtrails and because of other people's negative thoughts towards you. Especially if you're melanated. Um, and just ETC. Um, the lack of nutrients in the food. You see... So we have so many things going against you. And the beautiful thing is they can, only 1% of that affects you. 99% affects you is your mental. So if you're thinking positively, all of those things won't, won't harm you. That's why we're still here. Because we're able to laugh and dance and enjoy life. You know? This point is most clearly illustrated by the expression that you have all heard. The operation was a success, but the patient died. Oh my God. That's what they said to my brother. That's what they said to us when my brother died. They were like, he died cancer free. My mama was like, well, damn, if y'all was going to kill him before the can to get the cancer out of him, we should have let him live. We shouldn't have brought him here. I was like, ding. The operation was a success, but the patient died. Any operation and many medical treatments are a shock to the whole nervous system and personality. An increased flow of energy to the area being treated by operation and drugs take away needed energy from all vital organs that need even more energy to overcome the shock to the total nervous system. If great increases in energy are not forthcoming, the patient dies. Now you can see the value of prayer for those suffering grave illnesses. Astral power can provide an increased flow of energy in times of great need during a physical crisis. I am so glad they did not do surgery on you because sometimes like when you be going to the hospital, they be trying to force that surgery stuff. You know what I mean? Because it's going to bring that dough in. Then they be acting like you neglecting the situation if you don't want to do it. And they be like forcing you to do it. Ooh. But they was like, it was in between Eileen's cranium, so they couldn't get to it. And I was like, whoo, good. And then also, too, cayenne pepper. I love herbs. I know that that was the difference between Bobby Hammond and Eileen. Eileen had herbs. And I'm just grateful. I love me some cayenne pepper. If I'm going around like I'm, something, I'm feeling something, cayenne pepper pills get popped. You hear me? Because <laughs> they'll thin the blood. They'll um, stop hemorrhaging. Um, they stop the strokes. Um, they clean out your cholesterol, clean out your arteries. Cayenne pepper is part of the master cleanse. That's when you mix maple syrup, lemons, and cayenne pepper with um, water. So cayenne pepper is just amazing. Oh yeah, we definitely grew cayenne pepper. Um, so it's, okay, back to staying on the point. An increased flow of energy, that's what cayenne pepper does. It increases your flow of energy. Um, to the area being treated by an operation and drugs take away needed energy from all vital organs that need even more energy to overcome the shock to the total nervous system. If great increases in energy are not forthcoming then the patient will die now you can see the value of prayer for these suffering grave illnesses 
Astral power can provide an increased flow of energy in times of great need during a physical crisis. Helen nearly gave up her life, her fight to stop smoking. One day when Helen's personal physician was reviewing the results of her examination of her, he suggested that she just stop smoking. Well, Helen resisted that idea because she loved to smoke. She has smoked for over 20 years. However, she agreed to stop by gradually cutting down the number of cigarettes that she had smoked daily. Within 36 hours, Helen became a nervous wreck and developed many symptoms of illness. Her doctor gave her some medicine and assured her that those symptoms had nothing to do with her decision to stop smoking. He told her that all he told her that all her symptoms were common among her patients at the moment. But Helen kept getting worse. She literally had to take her take to her bed. She was bedridden. Finally, her doctor told her just to go back to smoking. Within 24 hours, all her symptoms had disappeared. That's trifling, Helen. Helen had just wanted to. That was trifling. That bitch wanted to smoke so bad, she started dying. Um, Helen had just... She was like, uh-uh, I want to do this. And if I don't, if I can't do this, I just die. I won't even get out of the bed. And that's exactly what she did. Dang, Helen was finna die. Well, go on, get you a cigarette, Helen. Helen is one of thousands who had similar experience. One illness after another, a very nervous condition is a lot of many who try to stop smoking, drinking, or changing any habit or way of thinking. I knew that Helen had tried to stop smoking on the advice of her doctor. I asked her one day if she really did want to stop smoking. Was she fully convinced that smoking was bad for her? She answered yes to both questions, so I agreed to help her. For the second time, Helen stopped smoking. I told her that the illness symptoms would probably reappear, and they did. Right on schedule. However, Helen was ready for them this time. She had learned the basic principles of my magic formula. She knew how to form mental action images. I told Helen to admit that all the illness symptoms were present, plus all the pain and nervousness that went with them. After recognizing their presence, Helen was instructed to think of herself during her meditation period as moving away from these symptoms to better health and freedom from smoking. Helen was also instructed to ask her unconscious mind and her astral helpers to find the cause of these illnesses and her nervousness. Once the buried problems were raised to full consciousness, it would be that much easier to eliminate the symptoms and get on with the business of never smoking again. It appears that Helen's parents objected to their daughter's smoking. In place of telling her parents that she was that it was her desire to smoke, and that they might as well accept that she was going to continue to smoke. She smoked, but never let her parents know that she was smoking. Her buried resentment never let her parents know that she was smoking, and her buried resentment against her parents was still a part of her personality and produced nervousness and illness when she tried to stop. Helen also uncovered several other problems that had never been solved and were directly related to her 20 years of smoking. She freed herself from the negative effects of those problems. It thus became easier and easier for her to carry forward her resolution to stop. And she was able to stop completely. The withdrawal symptoms connected with the use of alcohol and drugs can be explained and explained in the same way. Finder exposed the conditions that started the excess use of alcohol and drugs in the first place. And you are well on your way towards solving your problem. I was once asked to talk before a group of Alcoholics Anonymous. I made them angry when I told them that alcoholism wasn't a disease, which I always questioned that too. I told them that it could locate the emotional problem that caused the excessive drinking in the first place. They would be able to control their desire to drink. For several weeks after my talk, I received telephone calls telling me that they agreed with me but did not dare to say so in front of everyone. Several also stopped by on the street to tell me that they agreed with me. I still feel that what I told them was true. And the many of them did too. Illness is always a part of a growing, changing personality. 
How well do I remember how puzzled I was years ago when I heard a philosopher professor state, you cannot have a good without a bad. It was many years before I could really accept this as true. We might also say that you cannot have health without illness. You can be good because you were bad. You can be healthy because you were sick. Illness can be a healthy reaction if the personality problems involved are solved. Illness represents a new unifying system within the personality. For example, in the case of Helen who wanted to stop smoking, illness made her face her problems concerning smoking. A new unification of her personality without the need to smoke was the final result. Your body and your mind are always changing, are always growing, are always declining. There must be a unifying action to keep the personality functioning at all times. Illness may therefore help maintain a balance of elements that go to make up the personality while at the same time pointing out that you have problems that need your attention. In the majority of the instances of illnesses, you are not held up in positive process unless the illness continues for a long time without any problem solving occurring. Unfortunately, there are too many people who use long illnesses to give them a sense of security. Let me repeat, physical sickness when not critical or terminal and when it does not involve the loss of a leg or the loss of an arm or invariably represents problems that are in process of becoming solved or problems that need to be brought out into the open. I'm now thinking of a company that appears to be a wonderful place to work. The physical environment is as near perfect as one could hope for. However, because of poor management and usually low morale, sickness is the order of the day. This establishment has its quotas of alcoholics and drug users. The majority of the employees are picking up all the viruses and the disease germs that love to camp out in this building. From them, business is great. Since the only answer that the president of this company ever gives to an any constructive suggestion is no, the only solution to an employee's problem is to recognize this state of affairs and adjust to it or become better yet, get a job, a better one, or create your own. We need to be creating our own. We are too creative to be punching somebody else's clock. And if you are punching somebody's clock, which we do appreciate because a lot of people are in the matrix and they help those who are out of the matrix partially or somewhat, um, then have your business on the side. The contributions of your astral helpers to meet the problems of illness. Through a positive mental action images applied by my magic formula, you can successfully handle the problems of illness on your own. However, do not discount the great importance of your astral helpers. They can help you eliminate minor aches and pains instantly. Help you locate your emotional problems that need solving. Find a spirit doctor who has specialized in what you may need and give you comfort and encouragement as you meet your illness problem head on. But remember, what Mother Bacon told you, there are helpers. It is up to you to find and to release the great God force that is within you. If you do this, you'll never be sick again. Ashe. Now that's the end of chapter 14. Now this one has a bonus. Um, in addition to us reading ch um, 29 together, page 29 together, um, we're going to do a meditation, a group meditation. Okay, so remember, get comfortable. If you need to, close your eyes so you can picture your mental images of positivity and manifestation of what you want in your, you and your family's lives. And here we go. Continuing now and for days and years to come. Continuing now for days and years to come. I am moving towards my cherished goals. I am moving towards my most cherished goals. My life is becoming rich with happiness. My life is becoming rich with happiness. A better economic condition and full contentment. A better economic condition and full contentment. Every action, enterprise, or endeavor. Every action, enterprise, or endeavor. In which I wish to be involved. In which I wish to be involved. Is bringing increasing rewards. Is bringing increasing rewards. 
Life is making its joys and happiness easier to come by. Life is making its joys and happiness easier to come by. Good fortune is coming my way. Good fortune is coming my way. More and more, more frequently. frequently. I'm learning how to share my good fortune. I'm learning how to share my good fortune. By helping, helping others, others along, along the, the way. way. I'm truly moving closer to a oneness with God and Goddess. I'm truly moving closer to the oneness with God and Goddess. The full release of my inner and self. The full release of my inner and higher self. Now, in order to relax from all the tension, I want you to slow down your breath. I held it for 20. Now I'm exhaling. Now breathing in just as deeply. This helps you go to a deeper plane. This also helps you release the tension because we want you and need you to relax. Relax. We're light. And release. Release all the tension that is being forced down your throat. Again, slowing down your breath with it deepest breath you can take. Bring your belly full of air. Hold it for as long as you can. And release the tension. Now I want you to thank your cheeks for smiling. I want you to thank your teeth for chewing. And thank your lips for being so big and pretty. And thank you eyes for seeing. Thank you mind for knowing and striving to know more. Thank you, hair, for connecting like antennas to the astral plane as we strengthen our etheric cord. And as we strengthen our connection to the higher realms, we are no longer third dimensional beings in which we are being controlled. We have more than a physical and we now know it. Thank you, heart, for beating. Thank you, stomach, for digesting and holding my food intestines. Thank you. Thank you, breast, for nurturing the next generation. Thank you, throat, for swallowing and holding my head up. Thank you, ears, for hearing. Thank you, elbow, for bending. Thank you, fingers, for healing with your touch. Thank you, hands, for grabbing. Thank you, arms, for helping me to do Tai Chi and Qigong and for helping me to remove blockages through rock, car, or Reiki and my body and helping me to relax. Thank you knees for bending. Thank you thighs and legs and ankles for holding us up. Thank you genitals for releasing that which is no longer needed in my body. Thank you toes and feet for holding me up. 
now that you're relaxed and your body knows that you are so grateful for all of its many functions that it does, liver cannot forget you because I need you. And I will always continue to need you and your abilities to detoxify my physical vessel. Thank you, liver. And as our body recognizes that we truly are grateful for it and its entire system. May you lay down in your relaxation and tighten your feet. Tighten your feet and let them go. Remembering to breathe as deeply as you can. Tighten your feet and relax. Tighten your feet and relax. Tighten your feet and relax. Now tighten your calves along with your feet and relax. Tighten your calves along with your feet. And relax. Tighten your calves and your feet and relax. Now tighten your knees and relax. Tighten your entire lower body from the knees down and relax. We're going to do that two more times. Breathing in deeply. Now move on up to your thighs. Include that into your lower body. Tighten your lower body with your thighs. And relax. Let's do that three times. Remembering to breathe. Tighten in. And relax. Tighten it. And relax. Now bring that energy on over to your booty. And your genitalia. Squeeze your whole entire lower half of your body. And relax. Three more times. And relax. Release that tension. Tense up. And relax. Yes. Now add your stomach. Three more times. Remember to deep breathe. Very good. Again. Mm-hmm. Now we're going to come up to our upper chest, tighten, and release. Tighten, and release. Two more times. Yes. Now do your hands included with it, along with your shoulders. So now you're all the way from the neck down, tightening. And release. Woo! Three more times. I'm going to deep breathe. Now let's do the neck down. <laughs> Feels good, y'all. And release. Three more times.
Now you want to do your whole entire body, include your head. <laughs> Release three more times. Last one. Okay, you should be laying down or sitting in a chair comfortably. Remember to deep breathe. We held our breath for as long as we could. We did 20 seconds. just do 33 now exhale just as deep I can't wait to see what your meditations are I'm relaxed and we finna go in peace